Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy. Now, um, I just wanted to say... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Fazbear Entertainment would like you to put your hands together for the one, the only, Freddy Fazbear. See how the security reaches out? Like, that's amazing, bro. This game has been a fun experience. I am voiceovering this because when I played this, it was really late. And I really couldn't talk. So, this will be part one the five security breaks Let's Play. Um, I hope you guys check it out, like it, you know? It's kind of new for me. I think this will be the first time I play an actual like, game on this channel. So if you guys really like me doing stuff on this channel like this, I will do more of it, you know? So yeah, this was, this recording will probably be smaller than it is, or maybe not, but let me just tell you, it was up to two hours of footage. But I'll try to keep it short for y'all. <laughs> well, this is where I leave y'all. Enjoy my thing. Uh, the further recording past part two will be in my normal voice. But for now, we have to be quiet. So yeah, enjoy the security breach. Let's play, y'all. Showtime already. I am experiencing a malfunction. The recharge cycle is not complete. Shh. Will you shut up? Who said that? I did. And down here. Down where? I still do not see you. Okay, listen. You were sleeping, so I opened the stomach hatch and climbed inside. My stomach hatch? That place is reserved for oversized birthday cakes and pinatas. It is not a safe play area. There you are! Scanning complete. How odd. Your guest profile is unknown to me. Who are you? I... I'm... Gregory. Gregory. I will notify the main office. Huh. Connection error. I cannot connect to the main network. It's her. She cut you off. She's not going to let you call for help until she finds me. Who? Who is looking for you? Your mother? Shh! I hear footsteps! That is the security guard. She can help. No, no! I don't trust her. Why not? I don't know who she is, but she's trying to get me. Isn't there some other way for you to communicate with me besides talking so loudly? Ah, take this. It is a novelty Freddy Fast Watch. What was that? I am sending you an encoded message. Hello, Gregory. It is me, Freddy. I will escort you to the main entrance. However, I am unable to leave this room. You should have no problem. There is a button on the wall that will open the door to the back room. I will make it accessible to you now. Well done, Gregory. There is an open air vent inside the maintenance room. You will have to climb through the ventilation system and release me from the outside.
Your tail is beautiful. Everyone was watching you. Everyone loves you. Everyone wants to be you. You are the best. Thank you. I am the best. I am the best. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for visiting, and we hope you enjoyed the show. Freddy and the gang are pretty tired, but they'll be back again next week after a few days of scheduled maintenance. Please make your way to the front of the building, where you will be given novelty glasses, a voucher for one free soda refill, and where you will sign a legal disclaimer releasing us of all liability for anything that might have happened during your visit. Have an awesome night, and we'll see you again soon. The stupid door won't open. Oh, you are going to need a photo pass to open the door. Apologies, I assumed you had one already. Well, you should be able to find one at a convenience counter. Way to go, Superstar! I knew you could do it. I know how to get you out of here. Climb back into my chest cavity. There is still time, but we must hurry. If I am spotted, I will certainly be taken back to my room. I will escort you to the main exit through the utility tunnels. It is the safest path. Okay, but you better be careful moving around. I don't want to be crushed and twisted into a meat pretzel.
She's down here. We have to go back. Do not worry, Gregory. Even if we are spotted, you are safe with me. She would never suspect we are traveling together. However, we should still do our best to avoid her. If I am sent back to my room, we will never get to the lobby before midnight. I feel you are broken. Don't worry about it. I'm fine. No. I feel that something is wrong. I am taking you to the first aid station. There's no time! I'm fine! Freddy! You're supposed to be on lockdown. Uh, Officer Vanessa, I, I do not know how I got here. Well, you totally blew it tonight, you know. Your system crashed and you ruined the show. Now, parts and services have you on reduced power. They said it's a safety precaution. Just one more thing to deal with. I apologize. Okay. Look, we're like 15 minutes from closing and some kid is sneaking around backstage. If you see anything, notify me immediately. I already alerted the others. Now, go back to your room. I told you she was after me. I said nothing. I will keep you safe. Let us go. Where are we? We are now under the Pizza Plex. These utility tunnels connect all the attractions. We can go anywhere in the building? Correct. Phaser Blast, Monty Golf, Roxy Raceway. They are all accessible to staff, with high enough clearance, of course. Guests are never allowed down here, but uh, yours is a special situation. supposed to do. How unfortunate, Gregory. You missed your chance. But there is still hope. You should be able to escape when the security doors reopen at 6 a.m. Until then, keep moving and try not to draw attention to yourself. If there is another way out, I will help you find it. I promise.
You did not. It's a crappy Mr. Hippo fridge magnet? Lame. So let me fill this awkward silence with my voice. No, I'm just kidding. Um, anyways, basically from here, I don't know what happened, but like the recording, it, it just, the audio said bye. I, I don't know what to say. It, it just didn't work. So. Take my pass. Try that terrible magnet you found. So like half of the time of me playing this game, Scrambled the machine! 
Oh man, now it's some kind of daycare pass? That is great news. I will meet you in the daycare. The entrance is on the second floor balcony. So yeah, I'll talk about proportions of the video just to give y'all a heads up of what's up. So, uh, funny story. I was recording it, right? But I used the same amount of like settings that I use for when we record our roleplay videos. And for some odd reason, the first beginning to half of this recording, it didn't want to happen. It didn't want to work. I watched back. Things were horrible at times. I fixed it in the part two. But it was so bad that I barely got even half of anything to show. So it's kind of sucky. This is not like me trying to be like the first person to play the game though and show people. Because many people play the game by now. I just wanted to show people, hey, I can play too. It's not the best let's play, but it's funny, you know? So, yeah. Anyways, that's just me letting y'all know that I do cut some parts out. And mainly that is to, one, keep the recording link decent. Because uploading these is going to be a pain. And two, half of them gets cut out. But as the recordings go on, less will get cut out, hopefully, maybe, we'll see. <laughs> Anyways, back to you, previous derpy. Derpy, god, jeez, oh, the past, Ah. Oh. new friend, 
this. This area is off limits. You're gonna get us in trouble. I don't know, don't you want a puppet show? your bedtime. Children must be punished. Bad children must be found. So let me tell you about this part. Oh boy, this is where the recording kind of got a bit more buggy, but kind of laid off a little bit. However, let me just tell you this. Ho, 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 boy. This part was hard. This is what took up most of the hour and a half. I could not find these generators for life. And then what I didn't know was when you find at least three or four of them, <laughs> Moon comes in crawling through the little thingies and he knows where you are. So, it got difficult. It took me a long time to finally find them. Um, I had a look, I tried to look up how to find them but let me tell you right now, nobody helped. Nobody. Nothing helped me at all. There was not no signs of pathways or nothing since it was a maze. You were out of luck. So most of the time I got lucky because eventually Moon got stuck. And that's how I beat this. I had to wait for the animatronic to get stuck for me to beat this. Otherwise I would have been here, stuck here. I would've been stuck here. 
if that doesn't tell you my level of gaming and how long it's been since I've played a horror game, I don't know what else will. But yeah, I will let you see me finding all the generators and getting out of here. Because trust me, I did stay in a few spots for a little while. And we all know that stuff is whack to watch. From here, I basically found the last one. Uh, I ended up finding one extra one I didn't know was there. From here, the recording was kind of like, eh, screw you, and kind of, you know, messed up a little bit. However, I did find out you can distract Moondrop. What was the nice thing I found out while running around? Now, um, but yeah, I ended up finding the last two generators, and I ended up getting out. Um... Even when I ran around a bit, he did get unstuck, but he, you know, went back and cleaned up the other ones I knocked over. So, in the end, I did find the last generator. Um, and I did beat the map. Um, I will say, though, it's really funny how you could kind of see him click through things. Which, I mean, it is to be expected, because, you know, like, when games come out, they kind of have their little bugs and things and... Over time, they get fixed, and I'm pretty sure Steel Wool will find a way to fix that and make it more natural, smooth looking. But for now, it's like that. And that's okay. I'm 100% okay with this. Cure Debris so far in this part has been fun for me. It's been fun for me to go back and play and experience a horror game. It's been fun. And I'm happy that you guys are here watching it with me. So, thank you. I appreciate that. You coming by to sit here and watch this, where you could, where there's other YouTubers who watch this with better quality, better commentary. And you come here and watch me, it makes me very happy. But yeah, from at this point, I beat it. Um, from here, I ended off the video because I was just done after that hour and a half. And it was up pretty late. And my friends, aka my cast members, when they see me up late, I ain't very happy, so you know, I had to play a good sport and get off. But, I did end up recording part two secretly. 